With Skipper's Sacred Flame, we head to Elden Volcano again. And after receiving the Fire Shield Earrings and Farron's Bathwater, we make it into the Fire Sanctuary. This dungeon is extremely dirty, but in a good way though, so let's see what you couldn't miss. The first room doesn't have anything big to report, but as soon as we enter the second corridor, we come across one of the themes of this dungeon, Bow Bacoblins. The sheer amount of bow enthusiasts would usually indicate some sort of event happening here for archers specifically, but unfortunately, that's not the case. While it may look like these bacoblins are green, this is in fact not true, because bacoblins actually only come in blue and red, with the green coloring only coming on due to gross lack of hygiene from these bow bacoblin. These bacoblin, when interviewed on why they chose this stinky lifestyle, stated, the stank make arrow fly farther meaning that they probably decided to group up here in an attempt to combine the stank for empowered bow abilities. The magma hands we see throughout the dungeon are really friendly, always helping Link scale the magma room's walls and even try to fist bump Link when applicable. But if we look into their real name, Magmanos, their story becomes a lot more tragic. With the word man being at the center of the name, this implies that the Magmanoses were all originally men who fell into magma with their souls possessing their death site. This sad story also explains why Link decides to engage in combat with these helpful beings, because when Link utilizes the Goddess Sword, he actually frees these souls from their unwilling possession of magma. One of the most memorable rooms in this dungeon is the Waterfruit Room. This room is filled to the brim with waterfruit, and when I'm talking filled to the brim, I'm talking like there's so much waterfruit in here that it's almost impossible to not notice the amount of waterfruit that is in this room. Why they did this is unknown, but the fact that there's so much waterfruit in here is quite frankly an artistic design choice if you think about it. Because if you look deeply, the waterfruit sprawl out around us, showing the humongous quantity of this waterfruit. The Bridge of Decision brings us a major dilemma. Jump left or jump right? This problem has haunted many players that skip Gold's dialogue for years, but it wasn't always this complicated. If we look into the code, the model for the bridge is actually named the Bridge of Indigestion, making it more of a riddle with the correct answer being the sleeping statue would probably not digest you. The closest thing to a mini boss we get in this dungeon is this one cage match with a Moldworm. This fight is more akin to a chase, with the only fighting going on being our stamina bar versus our ability to chase. Though while it's obvious we get an advantage over the Moldworm due to our third person perspective, what exactly is Link seeing to be able to evade the Moldworm so well? While this is never brought up, Link actually used to be blind when he was younger. This experience gave him the ability to see utilizing vibrations in the ground, which perfectly explains his awareness underground and ease of avoiding the Moldworm. The boss of the Fire Sanctuary is Girahim again, but this time he has more knives and recently played Final Fantasy VII, dive bombing us with his swords like Sephiroth. However, new moves aside, let's discuss the elephant in the room, Girahim's clothing. Many have joked about his questionable fashion choices, though many of these people haven't thought to look into why he has this choice of attire. The reasoning falls to his acquired strength from being loyal to Demise. This strength we see in many ways, however his ability to teleport is the main cause of his clothing choices. When he teleports, he can only teleport his body and specifically made clothing, nothing else. This means when teleporting, he removes all the air in his lungs with no way of keeping a breath within him. To counter this, Gearhim was also given the power to diffuse oxygen into his skin by Demise, nullifying his weakness, but removing all ability to wear armor or normal clothes. And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please, you know what to do.